Did anybody see the article about the electric currents that are missing in the jets of Enceladus? These scientists have no idea what they just did. Basically, what they did was they know, regardless of whether it's our physics or theirs, those volcanic water jets shooting out of the south pole of Enceladus must have strong electric currents associated with them. And yet, they only discover a tiny fraction, just a few percent of what they expected to find, which, by the way, means that they missed 96, 97 percent of the electricity they were looking for. Don't know if that 96, 97 percent number means anything to anybody in this room. The mystery was solved, but it raises more questions. It was dust hiding these particles and currents to nearly completion, and we are not talking about us looking from the Earth to Saturn's moon. They flew Cassini right through Enceladus jets, and in situ, right there, were unable to perceive reality. Let's recall that in addition to the normal cosmic dust with which many in the field are familiar, nano dust is ubiquitous in the interstellar medium. Dust reacts very well, but unexpectedly with plasma, and the majority of the cosmos is indeed dusty plasma. We don't have a good way of noticing them. The universe does a good job hiding them from us. And what they forgot to do is look back where they came. Because if that can happen in our own playground in Enceladus, who says the universe is not hiding these cosmic electric currents elsewhere? And so, how much of the electric currents in the universe are they missing? And of that which they are missing, the electrostatic forces associated with them, the electromagnetokinetic phenomenon on any neutral matter which might be out there, which if anybody doesn't know, that's from Colin back in the 1950s. Even neutral matter will be affected by electric currents. It will be forced perpendicular to both the current and the magnetic field. So if you've got a current, magnetic field wrapping around it, it pushes outward in all directions, uh, which ties up nicely with the electric crater idea. So, electric currents, we don't even spot them here in our own backyard. How do we expect to spot them throughout the universe?